hope you're all having a good day and sitting here by the old fireplace excuse me um, over uh, the last couple of weeks we've maybe even a month or so we've had a couple different companies come in here and give us an estimate to um, replace our fireplace well it comes to find out our fireplace has actually been um, replaced before according to the individuals that, that came here and that. So what we have decided to do, we've looked into gas and wood and, and even pellet stove. And so what we've decided to do, and this name will sound familiar to you if you watched my video uh, about uh, pellet head pizza oven. Um, so the people at EarthSense has given us um, some ideas of product to use and, and that and um, they gave us a quote and what we're going to do is I'm going to take off all this face here because we have to get access to this box up and through here and, and, and that we've got this wire mesh and then we got to get access to be able to, to remove this box right here. So just to save ourselves a little bit of money, um, I'm going to go ahead and do that part myself. And, and then we'll have the people from EarthSense come here and, and uh, re replace our fireplace with a uh, pellet stove. When we looked at gas and we looked at wood, we, some of the things that we wanted said um, like a blower uh, that was all extra and with this pellet stove it was all a part of it the prices yeah you know they're 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 almost about the same but we just figured that the pellet stove was going to be the best way for us I would I would like to hear down in the comments what your experience is with a gas, wood, or pellet stove or pellet type fireplace. So in this video, I'm primarily just going to get all this off. Let me get myself all set up. Some, I'm going to lay down some blankets and, and uh, re remove some stuff here. So when I start taking down these bricks and all that, I don't have a big mess and nothing will get damaged. It's uh, sitting there pretty good. This whole wall <laughs> is actually, um, the whole wall is actually moving so that tells me that this brick there's probably no tabs that are keeping it in there gotta get, gotta get some pictures here Jerry wanted some pictures Save this, we might reuse it. There's actually no tabs be behind there holding that open. I don't know. I'm, I'm just going to take a hammer and just pop on a couple of these bricks and see what happens. Looks like this mortar is popping off fairly easy. I actually might be able to reuse these. Let me 
me get my pry bar, or my other pry bar. Might be able to get away with just prying them. Let's see. I thought I saw a dime in here. Oh well. Well, we got a quarter. I'm not sure how well that's going to show up. A quarter from 1974 and a dime from yeah, Mr. Blindy here. So anyway, 35 cents. So it looks like this whole box can come out. There were no tabs whatsoever coming off this board. <clears throat> it came up to the bricks. That's, that's really quite disturbing. I don't know. Well, let me do some more work here. Get this all separated out. I think I'm going to have to take some pictures, send them to Sherry, and maybe get uh, the people over here. Almost looks like uh, this is going to cost us a little bit more to reframe this whole thing. All right. I'm going to turn this off for a little bit. Hey, everyone. We're going to close out this part of our video. Plenty of things to come yet. It's gotten real interesting some of the things that we've attempted to do we're looking into a slab of granite to to uh, put in the hearth and we're probably not going to put tile or or brick up on the sides just put up some uh, drywall or maybe some sort of decorative boarding boards or something like that we're still undecided so i hope you're, you're having a good day and things are going well for you so we'll see you later on the next one bye everyone